Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see by the blog entry today, the Pope is actually declaring on camera that no one should oppose God or Caesar. And I'm not going to go to the video that he says this on. It was posted on Rome Reports, but if I actually go there and start playing that video here, I'm probably going to get another copyright strike, so I ain't going to do it. I had enough complaints and enough videos pulled by the Catholic Church to have to deal with that again. And so I'm just going to quickly share what he actually said in the video and what he actually meant by what he said as per Vatican record. And what I mean by Vatican record is they're only going to echo that which they've already put in writing or in primitor, as they say in Latin, which means let it be written. And so in the video, he actually declared, and I quote, the Christian is called to commit himself concretely to human and social realities without opposing God and Caesar. And so who does this and every pope believe to be the God he's speaking of here that the common man must never oppose? And who is it that he believes to be Caesar in today's world? Because he's speaking in today's world, right? Well, first of all, as we know by many Vatican quotes, the popes of Rome actually declared themselves to be God on earth. And for those that got a little shocked at that statement and don't believe what I just said, especially if you're Roman Catholic, you might want to watch these quotes that I'm going to scroll by on the screen here. Now, I do have quite a few more of these quotes, but I'm not going to post them all here. It's just too many for that matter. But you can check them out later on. Like, in other words, the blog entry, like any blog entry that I put to video, is going to have all the links that you're going to need. And so just click the link that's in the comments section that brings you to the blog of the day, and it'll lead you to those links. But with all that being said, who is it the Pope declares to be Caesar now? Because we all know how nary a political leader on the planet claims such a title in modern times, and seeing how the Pope is the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, wherein the title Pontificus Maximus is placed upon him, and every Pope, which, by the way, is a Latin term first used by the ancient Caesars, it's easy to assume, then, who he actually thinks Caesar is in today's world. And since we have all these well-documented quotes from the Vatican, as well as many priests and the prelates uh, the world over who declare the Pope to be a God on earth, is it possible that the popes of Rome actually declare themselves to be Caesar in writing as well, so as to further confirm and easily lock down the prophetic facts regarding the power behind this man of sin in Rome? Notice this. As I stated... Three years ago in this video, the wound of this beast has been healed as prophesied. And this is why the media and this Pope have been making some very strange statements regarding the long prophesied global rule of this man or any man that stands as Pope. But this statement he made today shows just how close the Vatican is at demanding all bow and worship to the beast in Rome. Thank you for watching. God bless.